Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, House Bill 117 only applies for uh, when an engineer puts in specifications the following American Well Society code book known as the AWS D1.1 for public bridges and, and uh, structural steel buildings. Let me be very clear. This is a safety bill that applies to both union and non-union applications. It levels the playing ground. AWS is not affiliated with any union or non-union organizations. They simply focus on welding, specifications, and codes that ensure safety is a top priority. As we know, public safety is a top priority, certainly throughout our legislative efforts, and with many areas, including our public buildings and, and bridges, fall within this priority. Every year, millions of people travel through our buildings and our bridges, and we just want to ensure that safety is a top priority. Considering one of the most widely used welding codes in America and actually internationally as well is the American Welding Society D1.1 code book. It, the D1.1 code as the guidance for the House Bill 117, the welding safety when required by the engineer for this 2022 sessions will provide positive and ensuring that these qualities of checks and procedures are, are being conducted. Just to give you a little bit of history, in 2012, McCracken County Consolidated School in Kentucky, a section of the school gymnasium collapsed during the early stages of construction due to poor welding quality and the investigations found faulty welding certifications. Another issue that's not related to welding but affects the, does impact uh, from coating, uh, this past summer, uh, a condo collapsed in Florida after warnings were being provided by a consultant engineer. Unfortunately, people died for this. This is still under investigation and legal action is still pending. The point is important to follow the experts of the engineers. Codes are throughout our lives. We have electrical codes, we have plumbing codes, we have building codes, elevator codes, and yes, we have welding codes. We simply need to follow these codes to ensure the best possible safety of our public. Pending the consideration and passage of the General Assembly, House Bill 117 will bring solid guidance and direction to make sure that safety prevails on our work sites for our structural steel welding professionals. Furthermore, House Bill 117 will close the gap of loopholes with the intent to eliminate any falsified welding certification. House Bill 117 is considered after the previous legislation has passed on a bipartisan measure. To this honorable body, I, my hope is that the passage of House Bill 117 will ensure safety of our public and save taxpayer money through enforcing the quality work required by the design engineer with the job specifications. Thank you for your time and consideration, Mr. Speaker. I respectfully move the passage of House Bill 117.